Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Dino Land USA here in Disney's Animal Kingdom at Walt Disney World. That's an iguanodon right there. That's what you're trying to save inside this attraction, inside Dinosaur. Not Dinosaur the ride, not Dinosaur the attraction, not Dinosaur the adventure, just Dinosaur. It used to be called Countdown to Extinction when the park first opened and then the movie Dinosaur came out and they, they sort of re-themed it kind of and um, it's now just called Dinosaur. I don't know, I kind of like it. I like the fact that they didn't call it Dinosaur the Ride. It's just Dinosaur, I, I dig it. But anyway, we're here in Dino Land USA again because every time I come to, to Animal Kingdom, I feel like I have to document Dino Land USA because rumor has it, the, the rumors keep persisting that eventually Dino Land USA might be going away. I keep hearing more and more and more rumors. Every time I come down here, right before I come down, I hear more rumors pop up about the possibility of Dino Land USA going away. And that breaks my heart because I love Dino Land USA. When it comes to all of Animal Kingdom, I, well, first off, Animal Kingdom is definitely Disney's most beautifully decorated and most immersive park, in my opinion. I think they did a fantastic job with the theming of this theme park. It is beautiful. Joe Rohde did an, an amazing job with this whole entire park. I just, I can't get enough of just all of Animal Kingdom and it's it's theming and it's decor and it's just again it's immersiveness. I love it. But when it comes to Dino Land USA, I just feel like they did the best job here. Something about this, it just really speaks to me. Maybe the collector in me, maybe the fact that it's just full of junk and collectibles and all kinds of fun stuff like that. I'll explain what I mean in a minute, but I just love it here so much. And the idea of them actually getting rid of Dino Land USA really does break my heart and gets me pretty upset to think of that because I don't want Dino Land USA to go anywhere. Look at this amazing photo opportunity hidden back here behind Chester and Hester's. I love this gift shop. Probably my favorite gift shop in all of, in just all of Disney World would have to be Chester and Hester's. Look at this. Just look at the way they decorated this place. The giant dinosaur. There's all kinds of like board games and toys and posters and all sorts of knickknacks and things up here. I want to be the guy who was in charge of going out to find this stuff. I want to be the, I want to be the guy who Disney goes, we need dinosaur bones, we need, we need dinosaur figures, we need things that are related to dinosaurs. Go out to the flea markets and pawn shops and find this stuff. That's what I want to do. Look at this. It's awesome. This is why I love it so much. There's all kinds of things painted on the, on the walls as well. There's photographs and again, posters and just toys. There's a train that runs around here. There's a it's a hot air balloon. It's just, they went crazy with the decor and all the stores and all the restaurants and whatnot in Dino Land USA look just like that, which is really, really cool. You can li literally spend hours inside every single store in Dino Land USA just looking at all the different decor they have. There's Chester and Hester's Dino Rama. So I've explained this before, but what's really neat about Dino Land USA is the backstory, which my wife always says is a shame they didn't tell people about the backstory more. And I agree, because maybe had they told people the backstory more of, of Dino Land USA, maybe people would respect Dino Land USA a little bit more. It gets, a, it gets a negative rap. A lot of people have bad things to say about Dino Land USA, and I would have to disagree, because right now we're in a, what looks like a parking lot. If you, a lot of people don't even realize this. If you look down, it looks like you're in an old parking lot. Here's all the parking lines. And you might be thinking, why are we in a parking lot? And why are there carnival rides? and Carnival games, people go, oh, with Dino Land USA, that's where they have the, the carnival games. Who wants to play carnival games when you're when you're in a park? And I agree, but it's all about the theming. It's all about the fact that they found dinosaur bones here, the Dino Institute popped up, and Chester Hester's gas station. They Chester Hester got the idea of turning it into a, a, a gift shop, a, a tourist attraction, and building this right here. That's the whole story behind it. They actually decided, let's build a carnival in our parking lot. Let's take our parking lot and turn it into an actual attraction where people can come out and, and ride rides and, and play games. Again, it's a whole it's a whole backstory. Nothing, nothing in Animal Kingdom was done just for the sake of doing it. It was all done with a backstory and an idea in mind. And that is why I love Animal Kingdom. And again, that's why I love Dino Land USA. And it's sad to think this might all be going away someday. I just, it breaks my heart with this. Whoa, I love it. Wacky mirrors and everything. My son won this last time we were here. He actually sat down, first time ever playing that game, and he won first prize. Look at this giant dinosaur here, look at this. 
How cool is that? Dino nipples and all. You'll never be able to unsee it. I always say that. The dinosaur has, has light nipples. Anyway, again, I love it. Look, we're on a road right now. There's the single yellow line. So like I said, there's a backstory all to Dino Land USA. And right now we're on a road that went through the town until they found a dino. I don't need to go into the whole entire backstory. You guys should look into the backstory of Dino Land USA. Cause it's just, it, there's, there's a lot to go into. And again, it is a whole entire story about how dinosaurs were found here. Di dinosaur bones were found here. And the fact that the Dino Institute popped up and then Chester and Hester's and all that other stuff that popped up and whatnot. And the, there's the dinosaur dig site over here. Really, really awesome backstory. And just such an amazing, immersive land. We actually just spent the last like hour inside the dino dig, or the, uh, the bone yard. The bone yard, fossil fun site. They actually have a dino dig across the bridge over here. And my son and I must've spent a good hour over there just digging around, digging up fossil bones. I still have sand. Listen to how loud the music is. I still have sand in my shoes right now from digging up dinosaurs. Look at this, look at this amazing bridge here. The actual dinosaur on it. How cool is that? There's actually a plaque over here. What's it say? It says, um, old, it's the Olden Gate Bridge. Look at that. I'm not joking when I say everything here has a story behind it. Nothing is done in Animal Kingdom without a story, without an idea behind it. Joe Rohde really had a lot of great ideas and he did not want this, to, he did not want things to just be built for the sake of being built. He wanted stuff to be built in this, in this park with a backstory, with a reason, with a purpose. And that's why, again, I love Animal Kingdom. So that leads into Discovery Island. The other side of that sign actually says Dino Land USA. I guess we'll walk back into Dino Land USA. We're still doing Di uh, Donald's Dino Bash. They've been doing that for a while now. It's sort of this, just a way to bring people in here. Again, a lot of people just don't like Dino Land USA. It's not, it's not a very, pop I, well, I want to say it's not a very popular land. But I don't know, I think it actually kind of is. I always get a ton of people over here. Kids seem to love Dino Land USA, but it always gets a bad rep. So I want to say like Donald's Dino, Dino Bash was maybe a way to try to get people to come over here and, and bring kids over here more. But I think a lot of kids do come over here. And I think a lot of people do come over here and, and run around. Because where, where else are kids going to go? When you think Animal Kingdom, there's not much here that I think like kids would be super like enthusiastic about. There's a giant roller coaster, there's a safari, there's other attractions that I just think kids are gonna be like, eh. But when I think kids, I think Dinoland USA. This is really where, this is where what was built for, for the kids to come out and play in. There's actually a, there's an alligator over here. Check this out. Is he out today? He is, look at that. I'm sorry, a crocodile, an American crocodile, not an alligator. That is pretty awesome. See, kids are loving it. They're looking, loving, looking at the crocodile. They're loving playing at the dino dig. The, the bone, the bone yard. The was it bone yard? Fossil bone yard, right? I forget already. Sean just loves doing the dinosaur fossil dig. That's his favorite part. And they got dinosaur the ride over here. But someday, possibly, this might be going down. There used to be a roller coaster called Primeval Whirl that sat right over there, right where there's some some blue walls now. They actually tore that down. And once they tore that, tore that down, that's when people started to go, oh, what's, what's happening now? Because it was torn down and nothing was put up in its place. There's just a big blue wall there. So eventually, I don't know. Eventually I have heard rumors that like back here, they're gonna build possibly a new Moana land, possibly a new Zootopia land. It was something, it was just a rumor, but I've started to hear more and more rumors that the rumor might actually become reality that it might be one of those rumors where it's like okay it's a rumor we haven't officially announced anything yet but it's 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 happening it's starting to get towards towards that level so i don't know again we're on a road right now this is actually dig country look at this route us 498 it's actually a root sign right right uh, right there look at that what's the sign say welcome to digs country so awesome here again the immersiveness of dino land usa i just i can't get enough of it are you guys a big fan of dino land usa do you like coming out here 
Are you gonna be sad to see this go? Or are you one of the many people who actually don't really care much for a Dinoland USA? Are you one of the people who just think, eh, whatever, good riddance, get rid of it, tear it down. I don't wanna play carnival games. I don't wanna, I don't wanna ride, I don't wanna ride like a, a dinosaur Dumbo. It's not, it's not really what I'm into. I don't, I don't wanna meet Donald Duck. It's not really my thing. Is that, is that you? Are you like me and you love the idea of everything this park and this this land here represents? They'll probably still keep Dinosaur for the ride. I don't actually see that going anywhere. I can I can only imagine that'll still stay. So my guess is maybe to some extent, maybe possibly the land will still exist. I don't know. I wonder if they would just get rid of it. I because I, again from what I've seen, part of the expansion that they do a Moana land, if they do a Zootopia. It will encompass this area right here. It's gonna encompass the the uh, the Chester and Hester's parking lot area. It'll actually encompass that. So I don't I don't know. But I'm gonna I'm gonna assume dinosaur will stay, but will restaurant Asaurus still stay? I have no idea. This over here is restaurant Asaurus. I'll show you guys this. Might as well. Excuse me. Restaurant Asaurus is also one of my favorite restaurants. It's just, it's just a quick service restaurant but it's amazing, again, because of the theming inside this place. I feel like we're gonna interrupt a lot of people eating right now, but I wanna show this to you anyway, because look at this. This is restaurant Asaurus. Even just from the outside, I mean, it's already amazing. There's the, the lawn chairs up there. They were playing playing darts. You can see there's a, there's a water tower with a bullseye on it. They were shooting, shooting the darts at it. Things like this, people just don't notice. There's all, all kinds of things, I guarantee you, people just every single day. How's it going? Hi. They just walk past all this stuff and they don't, they don't look at it. I think that's why people just don't appreciate this land so much because they come into here and they just, they get food. They, they just get food, they just go on an attraction, they just walk, but they don't, they don't look around while they're doing it. They don't notice the giant dinosaur skull up there. They don't notice everything that's above them. They don't take it in, they don't get it, they don't understand. Look at all the different posters they have here of all the different dinosaurs. There's a Godzilla poster over there, which is really awesome. There's Christmas lights in here. It's the hip joint. This is actually where we ate. Look at this, there's a, there's a game they made on the wall there. There's Dinosaur Junior posters. Are you a fan of Dinosaur Junior? That's really awesome. Seriously, look at this. There's all kinds of story. There's all these different awards that are up here. So they really do make it feel like this was something that was actually built for the, the people actually working at the dig site. There's an old Airstream here that's built to the side. You can actually eat at the Airstream. There's a, there's a jukebox over there. Like I said, this is why I love this park and why I love eating here so much. It's because of the immersiveness, because of the decor, because of just the style of this whole entire land, this whole, this restaurants, the gift shops, everything. It's why probably every single time I come down here, I'm gonna do a walk through Dinoland USA just to document it more and more and more. Cause so I wanna show this off. I wanna show this to you guys. I wanna tell you guys, you need to come out here. You need to check this out. You need to be part of, of Dinoland USA before it might actually be gone forever. The pterodactyl up there. They actually have pretty good food here as well. This over here feels more like a lodge. It's a big fireplace over there. And then you can actually come over here and you walk into like all these different little sections of the restaurants. Look, look at this. Again, I love it here. <laughs> All right, we'll go back outside. I'll end this video now. I just want to walk through a little bit of Dinoland USA just to show it to you guys, just to explain to you that if you come over here, look at everything. Like, don't, don't, don't look at the ground. Well, actually, it's a lie. Look at the ground because then you'll notice there are there is a parking lot you're walking through or there is that route, that, that road. What was it, route? What did it say? It was 498 or something like that. The fact that you're actually going to notice that you're on an actual road, things like that. You're going to, you're going to note... You're gonna notice this stuff if you actually pay attention. So yes, look at the ground. Look at the sky. Look, look to your left, look to your right, look behind you, look ahead of you. Look everywhere there is to look. 
when you're in Dinoland USA because you're gonna notice all these little tiny things you probably missed the first time you were ever here. And if you do that and you take it in, you'll, you'll maybe respect this land a little bit more. I love it. All right, I'm gonna go find my family. Maybe get on, get on an attraction, something like that. Maybe wait in line to McDonald. Maybe play some, some carnival games at Chester and Hester's Dinorama. Maybe do some shopping at Chester and Hester's Dinosaur Treasures. Either way, we're gonna have a fantastic time here in Dinoland USA because it's a fantastic place. And Disney, if you're watching and you do wanna build the new Moana land, you do wanna build the new Zootopia land, I, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it, do it, but just keep at least some Dinoland USA. Please don't get rid of all of Dinoland USA. Keep, keep the restaurant, keep Chester and Hester's. Just, just give us some, di just, re just let us keep some Dinoland USA, please. That's all I ask. All right, guys, with that, we're done. So like I said, leave a comment down below if you're a big fan of, of Dinoland USA. If you're not, also leave a comment down below. I wanna hear your thoughts on this land. But all right, guys, so with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. Look at the tires here. Look at this. Again, things people just walk past, take for granted, and don't even notice. All right, guys. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds with the Spreadshirt and from Patreon to get help supporting the show and keeping the show going. So I really do appreciate it. Man, I love it here. Where else you get to walk underneath a giant dinosaur? I don't know anywhere else. If you do, leave a comment. All right, guys, so I'll see you in the next video. Like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you guys do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, Dino Nipples. I will see you guys in the next video. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.